artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at four to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, one of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Bazooka! And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon! Lee! All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Well, yeah. so much UFC history has taken place here in Abu Dhabi, and plenty more where that came from tonight as we return to the Etihad Arena. This place is beautiful. Kind of reminds me of the Superdome a little bit. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, outside of the color of the Superdome, it is not up to par with the Etihad Arena, but you make me take a shot at my own team. But yes, absolutely stunning venue, and the fights have been top-notch here. Lands a nice jab there. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Lee. Block that strike. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, it's stringing them together so effectively. Never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job. Finish here. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. What a beautiful head kick land. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Good body work with that hook by Lee. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Beautiful kick. Just over three minutes to go. Fast leg kick lands. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, up the go. That punch no good. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Going to the fruit. <laughs> oh, you land, I land. 
realize how we're doing here. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches there. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Oh, nice jab, nice stick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Just missed with the left there. It's okay, keep going. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Knees right down the middle. Oh, lands a nice straight. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Oh, big head kick there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy it's tonight. a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Lead left by Lee. Oh, nice inside kick. 15 seconds. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, that's big. Uh, what a start. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coach. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round here. Oh, gorgeous switch kick by him there. Clearly, he has practiced that move and was able to execute on fight. He can do that and not really tell you where that kick is going. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Come on, man. I need more punches. Let's go. Throw those punches. Oh, is that a big move? Body. We'll see if he can follow up. That is a damaging kick that lands. I need you to keep pushing forward. Oh, oh that was beautiful. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. He opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Nice block. Well, he's got a pretty good sidekick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and it pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's comfortable. Lee's got a nasty bruise starting to appear on that left side. We'll keep an eye on it. Could pay dividends later. 
Oh, now that's a kick to the body. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Collar tie here in the clinch. Let me see that uppercut now. Come on. Oh, nice. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Boom. Straight left hand. Under two minutes to go. So starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, big elbow. Ah. Tries the flying knee to no avail. There's that hit. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, just open it up on him now. And a knee. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. Oh, oh he's on wobbly legs now. Under a minute now to go. Single leg takedown is good. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Let's go. Push, push, push. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. He gets in a single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. Even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, when you're dealing with a cut like that, it may not be long before it starts to impact the breathing. Not a good spot to be in here. That was a big check. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow up with him. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, that is as bad a cut as we have seen in some time. You see the referee monitoring things closely.
closely, we might get a stoppage soon. Yeah, he needs to monitor it. And, John, many times we are on the officials to stop the fight. This is one of those times where it needs to happen right now. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right to the target. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Both fighters throwing heat now. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Just over three minutes to go. Good punch. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Huge block there. Lands to the body there. Wow, this is getting hard to watch. And sometimes you hear us say a fighter is too tough for their own good. Anybody want to save this athlete? Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Lifted a little bit, trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh! Oh my goodness! With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Right hook attempt, that's a miss. And he's bleeding from the mouth, Daniel. Looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than that. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. There's that kick. Right hand, then a left. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Oh, oh. That kick there. We'll see if he can finish. In a ton of trouble right now. Now you're really starting to see the damage on that thigh. Maybe check a kick, protect that leg a little bit. He's got to check a kick in return. You've got to make him pay for throwing these leg kicks. They can't be free. You can't just get your leg beat up. Right now we're starting to see how much damage he's inflicted on his opponent. Right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Yeah, and he wants to continue, but he will not be afforded that opportunity. So that is it. Fans don't like it, but the doctor has to protect the fighters. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. Declaring the winner by TKO, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight. And given this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about, you know he's going to get everyone's best shot. But more often than not, Lee's skills are enough to rue the day.